Now, Gloria Hannaford is right here, as you saw, to mark International Women's Day tomorrow. She and her fellow loose women are back with their fantastic Body Stories campaign. It's all about celebrating body diversity. And she joins me now. It's always a joy to see always you. Always to see it you. It really is. What a great idea. Now, this is the first time you've been involved in this campaign, because I know loose women have done it many times before. And it's such a great idea. It's a wonderful idea because tomorrow, of course, being Women's International Day, yep. um, you know, that is obviously the hook for it. And it's inclusion, really. So it's inclusion yes. that would, I mean, from my point of view, I'm just glad that my body's still functioning. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I know that there are some people who do like uh, get out of the bath and maybe sort of look in the mirror and think, oh, my goodness, I've got to do that or that. I don't do that anymore, ever, because when I was young, and you know, a young teenager. Sure. My standard weight was seven stone two. And the day I gave birth to Karen, my first baby, I was six stone 10. Wow, so, you're teeny tiny, so teeny weeny. Body issues then wasn't really an issue, but, <laughs> no. but this is a great campaign. It and, and it's as much to do with the mind as anything else in this campaign in particular, mm. because, and it's how you deal with adversity, because we all, we all get things chucked at us in life. And it's your attitude, so I'm all about, energy in my body to do the things I want to do, whether that's come and see you in the river and have a sail down the river or whatever, <laughs> or to have lunch or to work. And for me, I love work. Yeah. And some people might say, you know, well, I want my retirement and I don't want to work beyond a certain age, but I do because mm. I'm still doing the same job as I did in 1969 when I was given a job in broadcasting. Exactly, and a pioneer you were, an absolute trailblazer and still continue to be. And you don't mind us saying that you're 82, Gloria. It's I am. It's ridiculous. I can't believe that. No, you're I can't either. Say, no, that can't be. <laughs> it can't be. I mean, I don't like the landmark ones, of course, and this is the truth, but once I get beyond the big one, you yeah. know, whether it's 50, 60, 70, whatever, 80, um, I, don't, I try not to think about it anymore. Yeah. Uh, but there are times, of course, that you are reminded, and the worst First time is when you're sitting in a crowded doctor surgery or something, you go date of birth and you go the date of birth and nobody goes, is that right? Can that year be right? <laughs> nobody says that. I bet they do but all anyway. the time. <laughs> but it is fantastic. You And you still do such interesting things. You did the Mass Singer recently. I did. Was it, that really good fun? It was, was one of the best things. And I'll tell you a very funny thing because the, one of the producers said to me afterwards, I think that you're probably the oldest person to have done the Mass Singer in this country. Um, and then I heard just last week that Dick Van Dyke has done it at 97. Yeah, yeah. How rude <laughs> to take that away from you. But it was great. For, I mean, look. <laughs> Do you not think, though, you've got to the stage in your life? Where you, yeah, why not? You try these things. Well, my youngest, son, my youngest son actually said to me, are you sure you want to do this? Because it's a big production. It is. It's a, it's a huge production. But I love a challenge, you see. Ah. Can't say no to that. Mm. And I have learned how to say no to some things, but not to a challenge. No. And I loved it. And of course, the secrecy, I don't think the public understands how much secrecy there is about The Masked Singer. Uh, because a way, I don't know, the studio is way out in the country somewhere, especially built, etc. And you have to stop about 15 minutes before you get there. And in the back seat of the car you're being driven in, you have to put on a black a uh, sweatshirt that says, don't talk to me. Then you have to put on a balaclava. So coming from Northern Ireland, that was really a <laughs> unique thing. Yes, I can imagine. And then you have to put a visor on, black gloves, black trousers, Jeez. black shoes, and you can't speak to anybody. Now, my inclination coming from Ireland, and you're the same from Scotland, we, we talked talk to everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that would be, was, that'd be the most difficult thing. That was a hard lesson. And then yeah. you're in your dressing room until lovely people come and put you in your costume. But I loved my, my costume. And when they brought the mask itself to my house one Saturday morning, and you know, I wept when I saw it because oh, I loved it so much. It, it, w it was cracker, isn't it? It was good fun. That is, it's, so, it's something else, isn't it? The amount of work and all yes. of that that goes into it. And, uh, now, can... and I hadn't been on a big stage like that, because I was a singer from seven. And, and see, you can But sing. I hadn't been on a big stage stage for about 20 odd years so I had to you refresh. couldn't get more different to rip off Britain I mean no. obviously we see in loose women of course we do the wise women of loose women but you you do rip off Britain as well and I love that because you and the other two women obviously uh, Julie and Angela you've got such a wealth of experience you know well, you really have we've suffered a bit and been around the block you've a bit. been there you've done it you know now things. you see the papers always write about ageism but in actual fact you know the three of us speak as we find and a consumer programme like Rip Off Britain that's been there now for 15 years 
has never been more relevant. Mm. And well, I think absolutely. we have a trustability because we are of a certain age. And, um, and I think people think, well, they have suffered a bit, so we'll believe them. Yeah. And I think you have to have that believability, Maybe. as you exactly. have really on any program, you have to have it. But I think particularly when you're naming and shaming companies mm. and telling people how to get some money to pay for their energy and what they could do, you, you know, you have yeah. to sort of have that. No, so age is an advantage, you know? Of course it is. Look at you, for goodness sake. <laughs> I'm going to have to let you go because I know you've got oh. those women later on, I you? do. And, of course, the, it's so wonderful to be with the girls, not only today but tomorrow for International Women's Day. And we are a variety of people of different bodies, etc., etc. And it's inclusion and everything's good. Everything is good. You're my inspiration. You're fantastic. Thank Just you. Just keep doing what you're doing. I will if Never I can. Never stop. <laughs> Never stop. Thank you. And as Gloria said, Loose Women's Body Story special airs tomorrow because it's International Women's Day, 12.30 on ITV1 and ITVX. But obviously you can see Gloria today at half past 12 as well.